watching the Hook Fishing Channel. My name's John Murray and I'm an angling addict. Today I've come down to Plainville Lakes at Wigginton, York. I'm going to try for a few bream on the pole, uh, maybe some F1s if we're lucky, and uh, maybe the odd barbo or two, and some hide. Right, today's ground bait of choice is Dynamite's Swim Stim Beta in Green. I'm also going to be using some uh, 3mm Swim Stim pellets and I've got a few of the uh, Swim Stim 4mm Pro Expanders to try on the hook. And I'll uh, pump them using the Ringer's Bait Pump. meter line. Just going to start by feeding some swim stim green with a few tiny little swim stim pellets in. So just a small bowl. And I'm just going to put up a few maggots in on that line get it going. Right I'm just going to kick off on the method feeder with a banded caster. I'm going to throw this to the far bank. So that's banded up. Just put some of our ground bait into the method mould. Squeeze it on, release, job done. First cast. It's tight to the far bank. There we go. Fish it on. What oh, a nice slab. Cracking bream, about two pound. Another decent fish on. Could be another slab. He's heading inside. Try and net him. Yeah, he's a good one. Oh, that's a cracking bream. Absolute cracker, Jack. Absolute cracker. Got to be, got to be getting on three and a half, four pound. That beautiful fish. So I'm just fishing about nine meters out, nine and a half meters. Put a ball of swim stim in with a few tiny swim stim micro pellets. About half a dozen expanders just to give me a change option, and I'm feeding maggot over the top with a sprinkle pot. It's taken a little while for the fish to start coming on, but just had a couple of cracking bream and an F1. On the inside line, which is only on the top two, I've fed in some chopped worm and caster. That's a bite. Fish on. Looks like we're starting to get into a few now. And a decent fish. Another slab. I'll soon build a weight of these. Just inside the lip. Uh. 
Put some bait. Put a fish on. Right now it doesn't feel like a bream. Stockfish. Rising up, it's a lift bite. Yeah, fish on. Oh, feels a decent fish. It's running off to the far bank. I think we've got it under control. Now he's having another run. Better F1 that one. Looks out in the net. Bye. Fish on. Where it's going, it's another F1. Small stock fish. Just in the lip. Yeah, it's looking to something like there. Oh, he's battling. Looking crazy, this one. Rigged wrapped up around the end of the pole pot. Never mind, let's try again. That's a decent slap. He's a good sized fish. Up your pop. Oh, just about. These hours. Proper fish, them. Just snotted all my line up. Look at the state of that. Right, I'm just going to top this line up with another ball of swimston. It's midday. I don't want to kill it, but I'll just put one ball in. Try and spur these bream into feeding a bit more confidently. And what we'll do is we'll rest it, come on inside, and have a look on our uh, margin line. So, just carefully in with that. There we go. That's fed. I think we'll try a worm to start with. Just a small piece. See if there's any hide down here. Literally just fishing the top two. Got about one mil of float showing. If anything breathes on that, it's going under. Right, well I've not had a response on the inside margin line. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cup some more worm on it and leave it. So I'll just give it this one big pot of worm. And uh, hopefully something will come and sit over that before the day's out. Spread it around a little bit. 
we go. Anyway, that ground bit's had about 12 minutes to settle, so we'll get back out over it now. See if there's anything waiting there. Catching back over the ground bit again now, so... Seems like the line's settled. There's like another good bream. Oh no, it's, it's a cap. Eyed. That was about that for an ad then. Car park's literally flooded out. Look at the state. how much rain we've had. Commercial fishery is flooded. Any good? Yeah, I've just had one snap from the all day. Yeah. It's quiet, isn't it? Yeah, it was better last week. Yeah. I think it's that fresh that's gone in though, don't you? It's just, it's cold, isn't it, today? Right, I'm just gonna try a four mil expander. See if we can attempt something on that. Well, what we got on here then? Decent fish, plodding a bit. It's got a bit of bream. Cut. See the bumming up for all the slime. There we go. Slime. So the rig today is quite simply a Preston Innovations F1 pellet float 4x14s that's shotted from about two foot underneath that first uh, number eight stot and then about every six inches after that one, two, three, four five, six, seven and then you've got about six inches to the hook which is a size 18 Drennan wide gate pellet hook. Just switched onto a piece of worm out on the long line and it went straight away. Oh, another nice big bream. Oh, fantastic fish. Is a piece of worm that took him. Try another nip of worm out on the long line. It's gone. We're in. Plastic stuck on the pole pot. Wonder if I can uh, free it off. 
Might just be able to net him. Uh, yes. <coughs> that was lucky. Oh, slippery fish. Especially when my hands are so cold, it's a cold day. Right guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything except a click. Give us a like and uh, it's much appreciated. Yeah. It's running. There's a decent fish again. I think he's brought me float. <laughs> yeah. Oh, lovely slab. Oh my god, that's an heavy fish. <laughs> oh. I've got some weight to on these. Oh, they're absolute beauty. Typical, just turn the cameras off and the elastic rips out. Waited 15 minutes for that night. Right, well that's it guys, we're done for the day. Uh, the bites have dried up pretty much. Got a few good quality fish, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, don't cost a thing, so, you know, I'd really appreciate it. Right, let's have a look and see what we've had. I would weigh them, but I don't want to put them in the net. That's not a fishery net, so. We won't weigh them today. that there's some quality fish in there it's probably 30 pound Cracking hard that is. That's it. I'm ready to go back. Oh, 